never talked about it. We were still friendly after that, but it wasn't the <coughs> So listen, why do you tell me about your little difference of opinion? Opinion? Lori, this is a fight like you do not believe. Let me tell you that. In the first place, the guy's really a redhead. Did you ever- But- Hey Jim, how's Bart? Should I tell him? You might as well. You see, we were supposed to go out tonight, and he broke the date? Not exactly. What happened? Rob, it's funny you should ask. We were supposed to go out tonight. Oh, I didn't know. I called him up to see what time he was coming to get me. I never see you. Or Bart. And I wanted to ask him about next Saturday. You will. She's having a get-together next Saturday. You are going, aren't you? Thinking something's wrong between you two? Hey, the kid's brilliant. So what happened next? What's the problem? Tonight on the phone. Everything just fell apart. She wanted me to pick her up about seven. Right over the phone, he deliberately tore our relationship to pieces. What did he say? That he never liked going out with me? All I said is that I didn't feel like going out tonight. And that tonight wasn't going to waste his time. And maybe some other time. Is that all you said? Well, yeah. I guess that is enough for Barb. So, what did he do then? Like being at a party when the only person know, everyone knows is the host. Hey, I've been there. 
I know. Lori! Hey, Lori! Uh, Robin Jim. Hello. Hey, Lori. How's it going? Fine. How are you? Fantastic. I didn't recognize your car. What are you here with? And how have you been, Rob? <laughs> Pretty good. It's been a while. Yeah, it sure has. So, what brings you two out to the movies tonight? Oh, uh, you know. Night out with the guys. Yeah, Chuck's here, too. Really? I'd love to see him. Where are you parked? Oh, uh, over there. But he's not in the car. Where is he? Jim, you'll never believe me. Lori! Hi, Lori! Hi, Chuck. Oh my god, it's so good to see you. How are you? <laughs> Fine. How's work? Fine. Hey, you're, uh, looking pretty good. Chuck, I hate to bring up the fun and games, but the news. One sec, I'll be right back. Jim, one sec. Careful, you squeeze a program to death. Jim, this is serious. Rob, this is important. I'll say she's a very small person. Jim, listen. <laughs> we got to get out of here. Why? What for? Don't ask, just leave. I was just at the snack bar, and you know who I saw? Sorry, Lori, they didn't have any root beer, so I got away. Uh oh. Too late. Hi, Barb. Hello, Chuck. Hi, Barb. Hello, Rob. Good evening, James. I didn't realize this was going to be formal. Good evening, Barbara. And how are you? Fine, thank you. You? Just dead. That's very good. <laughs> Can you see me for a moment? Chuck, this is a practical joke. If I knew you were inviting guests, I would have brought more jerks. Jim, I swear, I didn't know they were going to be here. Barb, I'm as surprised as you are. Surprise is not the word. Here, drink this before it gets thrown at somebody. So, Jim, tell me, how does work? I also didn't realize this was going to be nasty. I think we should stick to firm or pleasant. No, let's stick to nasty. You're so good at it. Come on, guys, take it easy. Yeah, chill out. I see you brought one layer with you. Are you boys enjoying the show? Yeah, it's great. Stupendous. How about you? Party good or early? You were in top form tonight. You practicing between rounds? Hey, you picked the weapons. Don't say I didn't give you a chance. A chance for what? For one thing, a chance to apologize. Jim? To what? You heard me. You're the one who broke the date, not me. But I didn't ask for months about combat. No, you never do anything wrong on duty, Jim. Will you people stop it? Hey, Jim, did you hear that the good die young? Certainly. Then what's keeping you? Why don't you go and collect your sainthood? It can wait. You won't be getting it. Come on! Come on! Come no. on! Come on! Have you been for one night? You better apologize! I don't need to apologize for. You're the line! I'll settle for that! Apologize! I don't you the last girl on earth. It ain't that horrible box. Ah! You hear that? Yeah. If that's what it's like when you guys are getting along, I would hate to be around when you're not. Use it to my ears, friends. Come on, let's get in the car. You smell that? What? Down home aroma of burning bridges. I think it'd be coming. <laughs>